Welcome back to The Exchange. Disney getting initiated at Outperform over at Raymond James today, setting the potential for free cash flow generation, but acknowledging the headwinds from linear TV, which Bob Iger addressed in his interview with our David Faber back in July. That they may not be core to Disney, yeah. Now, there's clearly creativity and content that they create that is core to Disney, but the distribution model, the business model that forms the underpinning of that business and that has delivered great profits over the years is definitely broken. And we have to, we, and, and we have to call it like it is. And with interest for ABC from Next Star Media and media mogul Brian, Byron Allen, my next guest says Iger shouldn't wait too long to get a deal done or it could backfire. Joining us is Barton Crockett, Internet and Media Analyst for Rosenblatt Securities. Barton, welcome. Why, why would it backfire if he waits this out? Well, I think what he said is that the, the model is broken. Um, the value will decline over time um, if the pressures continue to mount. So, um, you know, you... you talk about this asset right now, there are buyers out there today. Um, there might not be as many buyers tomorrow and the price not be, might not be as good. So I think uh, they've already said their position. Um, so they should act on it rather than leaving everyone who works there in limbo. You know, there's a thing in the housing market where they say the first offer is often the best offer. I don't, I don't right. know if realtors would agree that's true, but is that kind of what you're talking about? To a degree. I mean, the reason that they would sell a business that's been really profitable is secular pressure. And the secular pressure uh, will mount over time. It's not going to ease over time. And um, their minds are made up that they see this coming, so they should act on it. Um, and every day they wait is a day that the value could slip and the people who work there could uh, leave because they're concerned about the future. Are you surprised there haven't been any other bidders mentioned so far, Nexstar and Byron Allen aside? Um, I, I'm not terribly surprised because I don't know that they formally announced a process. Um, the other natural bidders could be private equity, um, and they may not be as public, you know, unless there's, you know, something publicly um, that Disney is running. Uh, Nexstar um, has talked about this in some conferences. Byron Allen, I think, you know, likes to position himself, um, you know, very prominently, maybe ahead of kind of the process. So. Um, you know, I think it is where it is. I think they, if they're going to do this, they should move ahead with it. And how significant would the cash raise be for Disney? And what might come next? Well, look, I, I think that there's, um, um, you know, their 80 percent kind of interest in ESPN plus the flanker kind of cable networks um, that could generate uh, 15 billion ish dollars for them. They could get, you know, close to six billion, maybe a little less for the ABC network and the TV stations. Uh, which is not transformative for Disney from the cash raise. Um, it is transformative from the story because if you exit those businesses and you get a JV partner, let's say an ESPN, um, suddenly um, you're left with an equity that's really theme parks and content businesses as its core driver and streaming services. You know, and those are things that I think investors could get excited about. I think that would help sentiment for the equity, help the multiple. Um, and help those people employed at Disney feel confident about their future. You'd feel excited about the streaming business? Um, I'm less uh, excited about the streaming business. I'm very excited about their theme park business, mm -hmm. um, which is generationally iconic. Um, they'll be talking about that more uh, this week. Um, you know, I'm very excited about their content library. Um, I think that streaming services um, will, you know, tend to um, consolidate around the largest platform. So Disney Plus is a great uh, focused brand right now. You know, over time, I'm not convinced that that doesn't become part of a larger tech platform. You know, I think that is the future. It doesn't have to be today. I think the street would see that, you know, in an equity. And, um, you know, and I think that that would be a story that people um, could get behind. Would you rather they not buy out the rest of Hulu, as some like Stephanie Link have, have suggested that she, she wishes they wouldn't? Yeah, look, I think that uh, um, I think they can manage um, whatever kind of um, comes at them from that valuation process. Um, you know, I am definitely more on the, the conservative side of how much I think Disney will have to pay relative to, to what Comcast has put out there. You know, we'll see. None of us really know until the thing is done. But um, look, I think that, uh, um, um, you know, Hulu, uh, I'd rather have them owning a controlling stake in Hulu, I think, than the TV networks. I think that's a good trade for them.